This next one is called convert boolean values to strings yes or no. Complete the method that takes a boolean value and return a yes string for true or a no string for false. So you've got this one. Go ahead and I would say it's a good chance to use that ternary operator that we learned about. You can certainly do an if else statement if you prefer but we can get it all on one line, right? So we can say return word, then the question mark to check that condition, it's Boolean. And then the first value after the question mark is for the true case, I'll return yes. And the second one is for the no case as we learned. So I think this covers us. And looks good easy stuff we've already covered this I mentioned in the last video if you can give me some input if it would be more helpful for me to omit these kind of challenges that are I would say beneath us at this point I can do that if you prefer that I include them to be complete I can do that too and just buzz right through them so not much else to say I'll see you in the next video